economic solution in this Dakota region. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I absolutely believe that uh, what Deepak said in his presentation is exactly what we are facing on a daily basis in our project. <clears throat> I do believe that the only way to implement MIA projects into the reality that we are living in basically in the developing countries is by putting the social and the community into the project as part of the solution that we are providing. We are providing an engineering solution, a NRW reduction solution, but we cannot split between the social solution and the engineering solution. Only to give you one of the examples of one of the projects that we are running in the Bahamas, we have decided to develop a very special program for, for school. Uh, we have started doing this program by educating the children how to use the water in the right way. We have implemented some of our projects or some of the components of the projects into the school in order to reduce the NRW into the school. And the very nice issue was that after running this type of program more than one year, we found that in this particular school, the NRW and the consumption reduced dramatically in more than 20%. But this is not the only effect. And the side effect is that those children are the best ambassador for the community when they are coming back home and starting to talk about the conservation of the water, how to use them the right way, the water, and the family is starting to act differently from the past. We ran some statistics on the families and we found that they are really reducing the consumption and between 10 to 12 percent of the typical consumption during the year. This is one of the examples of what exactly we are doing in the project. Of course, we cannot forget to put the community into the project in terms of implementing the project by having the people that are living in the country. I believe that it's impossible in some of the countries that we are working to work in the area without having the full contribution and the full support from the local people that are living in the areas that normally when they are seeing people that are working on the water system, they believe that they are going to cut the water or reduce the pressure or doing some action that probably are not going to be in the favor of the community. So normally we are working directly with the leader of the communities, mainly in the red areas or in the places where it's not so easy to implement a NRW project. And the only way to implement it is by having the community as part of a, the project that are going to be implemented. And the last thing that I believe that it was also mentioned by uh, Deepak was the connection between innovation, technology, and the society. We develop a very nice uh, application, and I'm encouraging you to download the application called FaceDrop, developed by Mia. And this application is a very nice application to create a community, a social community of people that are uh, sharing information about uh, pictures of water, concept of water, uh, and in the end of the day, the idea behind the software uh, or the application is to get from the people that are living in the area pictures of leakages, pictures of problems in water that can be shared together with the utility and with the project implementation in order to create this type of communication between the uh, community and the utility in an easy way instead of calling the telephone that no one normally is answering to the calls. Thank you very much. And now, Girishman, I think that when we 